year ago last year. <laughs> Time flies. The world celebrated the birth. I have a little problem. TH is very difficult to pronounce for one who is not brought up in an English speaking country. This business of extending the tongue, you know. One never knows how far to go. My English teacher said, speak like this for two months and get used to it once and for all. So I spoke like this for two months and I got used to this once and for all. And everything went perfectly well, except for a few instances. <laughs> they occurred when I happened to speak to some people who also spoke like this. <laughs> Particularly in crowded lifts. <laughs> in Denmark, where I grew up, we speak way back here. <laughs> kind of a guttural effect. But Denmark, as you know, is just a small country and we don't have much room to fool around in. <laughs> but it is quite a translation from <laughs> A friend of mine once tried it the other way. <laughs> he drowned. <laughs> a year ago last year, Madam, would you leave that gentleman alone now, please? <laughs> There's a time and a place for everything. Apparently, she found the place. <laughs> Probably still looking. Anyway, a year ago last year, but if you go on like that, it would be two years ago last year. <laughs> the world celebrated the birth of Ludwig van Beethoven. And that was, in my opinion, about time. <laughs> because it was his 200th anniversary, which couldn't have been celebrated earlier anyway. I like to join in the celebration and play Claire de Lune by Claude Debussy. <laughs> I don't play Beethoven very well. And how can I honor him by playing any of his own compositions the way I do? Whereas I play Debussy very badly, and I'm sure that Beethoven would enjoy that very much. <laughs> first, though, first, I'm going to play a short version of the Moonlight Sonata by Beethoven. to introduce a young pianist. He's a young Armenian who came from Turkey to the United States on Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> Six years ago, and he has graduated gradually from uh, the famous music uh, 
uh, school there, the Juilliard School of Music in New York, as a cook. He's a fine cook also. <laughs> and has recently uh, uh, finished a concert tour of South, Af South America, where he played in Oblivion, uh, Bolivia, uh, <laughs> in his recital yeah, in his uncle's house there. Now, um, He's a fine young musician and an excellent pianist. Will you please welcome Mr. Shahan Azruni? <laughs> Mr. Azruni does not speak very much English, uh, nor very well, but uh, <laughs> he. Uh, he lives with his family in New York City and they use their native tongue, of course, twice a week, which is, uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, fortunately I speak a little Turkish myself, so we, we uh, get along this way. <laughs> Your first and my first appearance at the uh, wherever we are. <laughs> you choose tonight what you would like. <laughs> we'll play together, which will be a duet. <laughs> we only have one piano. <laughs> How is your uncle? Is he better? I'm glad to hear that. Mr. Azruni's uncle lives in Istanbul and he's a road engineer. He was run over by a steamroller about five months ago and is still in the hospital in room 21 to 27. Almost joined your uncle there. <laughs> 